Hey there, happy day 28 of our Get Up and Go Challenge. Sharon horn Elstrom here. And today we're gonna to talk about value. So why are you here? Why are you here? Not why are you here in the challenge? Why are you here on the planet? Why are you alive now? Why are you here as a person? There's all kinds of topics we could discuss in this, but we're gonna apply, I forgot my bar of soap, our soap framework to the area of our life that I was supposed to talk about yesterday contribution we've talked about all six of the seven other six of the seven areas of our life physical mental emotional spiritual financial relationships and now contribution why did i say contribution for last because it's usually the last thing we get to as human beings until we have our physical our mental our emotional our spiritual our financial for sure and our relationships lined up we don't even have time or energy to think about how we're contributing. What are we here to do in the world? You know, what are we passionate about? What do we care about? Um, who do we want to help? How do we want to show up in the world? And it's more than just our roles. You know, is it's more than just being a great mom or a great grandma or a grandpa or a granddad or whatever you might be, or brother or sister or friend or aunt or uncle, whatever it is. It's more than the roles we play. It's more than the jobs and the occupations we have. It's more than being an engineer. It's more than being a garbage collector. It's more than being a, a malt shop employee or a waitress. It's more than who we are as and as who we are as we show up every day in our everyday life. It, it's the difference between our physical being, who we are here and what we do and are the roles we play versus our soul and our spirit and big us. So it kind of combines the spiritual aspects of us with our passions and our, the impact and the influence we want to have while we're here on the planet, while we're here to serve, why we're here, right? So you ever ask yourself, and usually we don't ask ourselves that question, why am I here, why am I doing this, unless we have got the other aspects of our life, at least in some semblance of order, or we feel like we're making progress in each of those areas. And that's why the SOAP framework is so powerful in the area of contribution, just like every other area of our life. It helps us to put some of the, um, some of the actual mental work and focus and thinking about these areas, it puts them on autopilot so that when a situation arises, we automatically know how to respond in a way that will be best for us at that given moment, at that given time. So for example, let's talk about the SOAP of contribution. You know, why are you here? So I think about um, my life not so long ago where all I wanted to do was survive. And maybe that's your current situation now with COVID-19. There are millions and millions of people in the exact same situation in boat right now just trying to get by from day to day and to survive. And not only with COVID, but in the United States, at least we've got COVID, we've got the politics, we've got the rioting and the unacceptable craziness and chaotic behavior of people so that places we normally felt safe, we don't feel safe anymore necessarily. So there's so much going on around us. Um, survival may very well be your current situation. So, hey, I'm just gonna get by, I'm just gonna survive, I'm gonna make sure I don't get COVID, I'm gonna make sure I don't go anywhere where I'm gonna get harmed because I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time, et cetera. And then what do we want our future to look like? You know, so we're doing the S, what's our story? What's my story from the past and right now? What's my story right this very minute about what I'm here to do in the world? Is it, do you wanna make the world a better place? A lot of people have this drive and this desire just to positively impact or influence the world or to make a positive impact on their family or to positively <laughs> make an impact for, and, and help a certain cause or you know it doesn't have to be a nonprofit but a certain um, injustice in their mind or justice in their mind whatever it is um, what are you here for so is it here just for survival or yeah I want to survive but I don't want to just survive I want to thrive I want to make an impact I want to make the world a better place because I've been here so how do I get from from surviving to thriving that's the gap we need to fill the gap and we use the soap framework to fill that gap by now going on to O, which is options, and brainstorming what are all the possible ways that I could start to fill that gap? What are some things that I could do? This entire challenge, the get up and go challenge, it's, I don't know, fourth time I've done it this year since COVID started, because it's one small way that I know I can help people, and it might not seem like a big thing, but if you can automatically install a framework for guaranteeing that you're going to be better off every time you're faced with a change or a challenge or an obstacle or a a failure or a setback or a good change in your life it can still make sure that you turn out and, and the results are even better for you who doesn't need that who doesn't want that especially now because so often when we're faced with a survival situation 
we go into shutdown or procrastination or frozen mode and we just wait for the world to go back to normal. Not gonna happen, right? After six months, I think we know things are changing, things have changed forever and will continue to change going forward. And it's up to us individually to take 100% responsibility for how that change is gonna impact and affect us because it's up to us to decide what we're gonna do about it, which is of course the next step. So we brainstorm all kinds of possibilities of what we can do to fill that gap or to start to fill that gap and help us to make progress toward the future that we really want, the, the lifestyle and the impact and the, the difference that we really wanna make. And again, the size of that difference is totally up to you. It's, it's, it's I just wanna be the best, maybe it is role related, I just wanna be the best grandma in the whole wide world. And so, are you the best grandma in the whole wide world right now? Honestly, assess that. I wanna be the best grandma in the whole wide world. Well, what do I have to do to get there? What is something I can do to get there? Hey, I'm gonna spend quality time with my granddaughter every week or whatever it is. But, but then we pick an action and we, we do that thing. We take that action, right? Never leave a commitment or a decision, the scene of a decision without taking some sort of action. Even writing it down is taking some sort of action. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Plug it into your phone, plug it into your calendar, make a call, a Google search, whatever, but take some sort of action to move you toward what it is that you want. And we, we filter all of our decisions, all of our choices, all of our, um, our actions from this point forward then based on the future vision that we want to achieve, right? We're not thinking about the past and thinking, oh, I have to make all these decisions based on survival. I want to make my decisions going forward based on what is going to move me toward thriving in this particular area or aspect of my life and how I want to show up in the world. And then P, of course, is progress. Am I making progress? And is what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, how I'm showing up, moving me toward what I want or away from what I want? If the result is toward what I want, I'm going to do more of that. And if I can, I'm going to find ways to automate that, make it a process, make it a system, make it a habit so that every Monday I do an hour of volunteer work or whatever, whatever it is for you that helps you. And, and, and that's it. Maybe volunteering is a great start depending on how you want to show up and how you want to impact the world. So that's just one example. And you know, it's kind of a convoluted example, but I think you get the idea. We can add and use this SOAP framework for absolutely anything, any change, any decision, any commitment, anything we want in our life. If it's something that we really want, then to add fuel to that, we just ask ourselves, well, why do I want that? Why do I want to make the world a better place? Well, why do I want that? Why do I want that? Remember the seven lies deep exercise I think we did the first couple days of the challenge? Go back and revisit that or ask in the comments below and we'll go through it again. I'll do another example because if you really want to get the fuel that you need, because it's different for each of us, the motivation that you really need, you want to dig down as deeply as you can into yourself and find out well, why do I really want that? And I learned from Dean Graziosi just this year, the beginning of this year actually, that I always learned five whys, go five whys deep. And by adding those two more levels, you get to the core reason, the real reason, not the, not the superficial, oh, because everybody wants, on superficial level, most human beings want the same things, right? We want financial freedom, we want um, personal freedom to do what we want when we want. And those become trite and cliche because everybody wants those things. Everybody wants to feel safe and secure and that they've got everything that they need to live a good life. It's, it's as we go deeper that we get to the real reasons that drive us individually. And it's different for each of us. What's interesting is every time I do that exercise, I learn something more about myself. So our challenge today is to, to just think about why, why are you here? What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to show up as? How, how do you want to leave your legacy or your imprint on the world? Think about that. Think about where you are right now with respect to that. Think about where and what you want that to look like for you. And then go through the SOAP framework. Just consciously go through it. I want you to consciously go through these at least once for each area of your life as practice so that you know that you've got it in, installed in your subconscious and it will just become automatic in the future. Any questions about that? Hit me up in the comments below. Uh, go through it for contribution and maybe share in the comments below one thing that you learned by going through the exercise. Or if you're struggling with it and you're like, oh my God, I have no idea why I'm here or what I, what I wanna do in the world. And, and we can work on that. Maybe we'll have a Q&A section about that if enough people are interested. That's it.
have an amazing day. I'm going to enjoy the cabin and my family. I invite you to do the same, but think about what you want to do. Do this. It, it only takes a couple of minutes, right? It only takes a couple of minutes to run through it and, and just see how impactful it is on you. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. I will see you tomorrow with day 29 of our 30 day, but you know, it's going to be at least 31 days, 30 day, get up and go challenge because I want to do it the whole month of August. Uh, I want to tell you, I want to see if I want to give you a sneak peek on what we're going to talk about tomorrow. No, I'm not going to, but I guarantee it will take what we're doing with the soul framework and put it on steroids. All right. Have an awesome day. Catch you tomorrow. Get up, go, go do this.